hello engineers kaise ho aap sab hope you are well i am also fine if you have watched my last two videos then it is very simple or easy so let today we will discuss about the test xml file or test suit so we will cover that first of all i just want to see uh, where is the text xml file is the root of the suit is the text uh, xml file how to create 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 the uh, on the class or the package label then you can convert the test ng convert to the test ng then automatically this file will be created this is a simple way then come to the document why we are using test ng xml file configure used to control the execution flow group test parameterize test set parallel execution include exclude specific test define test suit and test labels unlike uh, we are using as a control of the whole execution why test ng required already we have discussed without xml or with test ng xml without xml run only one class at a time no control on group no browser test parameter cannot run parallel test ngs with the help of the test ng run multiple classes packages include exclude group easily can pass parameter can run in parallel once you created the test ng xml file then by default you will get the address or the then suit and test and inside the class a uh, class name dot package name then this is the hierarchy you will get the first time once you change your class or you convert create to as test ng then then you can run your uh, test from the test ng xml from this already we have uh, run so many classes from the xml file come to the point with the multiple class in the suit nothing else in the suit at the suit starting root sorry class class bracket inside the class we will uh, add the multiple classes test dot page suit name we added here give me a moment give me a moment this is the package name or this is the uh, class dot package right this is the way it's usually written yes correct absolutely right uh, you can add the multiple classes in the inside the class bracket packages execution test name equal to full test or packages uh, name we add the packages name directly like the annotation this package you have need to add or in the one package we can have a multiple classes or multiple uh, test class test cases so it will run at the once already we have uh, know ki test suit hierarchy is the suit test class method suit test class method this is the test suit hierarchy label meaning suit full project execution test mean group of the test classes suit means full project execution test mean group of the test classes classes mean only specific class method for specific test method so this is the hierarchy there is the keywords you heard about the include exclude method in the xml so we will see this method also let's see if this come here and uh, in the text ng xml file inside the method uh, this here then we come here the method uh, <coughs> is the correct uh, classes okay this is the okay this is the method we are doing and the okay we should write like that okay no it is not working yeah i have removed that the classes the classes and method we are excluding this method now okay you can see include or exclude what the hierarchy class label we are notation the class or package then method this is the method we are excluding then closing the method bracket and then class bracket and then is the classes what the exact error we are getting class is already closed but we can't close the class uh, if we are using the method bracket so method should be inside the class that's why we are getting that error so what i did i have uh, there is a one forward slash i remove that and after the method after the matter i use that close the class let's see the result test case one failure one pass no sorry one test case is run and zero pass and failure is one because test 3 already we have exclude so this is the way we are using the exclude uh, or include or exclude there is another way is the grouping test group smoke so that also i should show you Here, then come like grouping is more. Go like that only. 
then put XML. Then what we have need to do? Then suit name, test name, smoke, and then group run include this one. We will use. And now it's literally coming here. How to run include name smoke smoke test case will run. Yeah, it is failed because you can see on this smoke test set is the assertion we are handling with the assertion. That's why it is failed. So this is the way we can grouping of the test cases. Adding the parameters using the test ng at XML. Adding the parameters using the test ng like uh, parameters browsers test illustrations. Uh, like uh, if you're thinking, I just want to provide the parameter from this XML file so that it's also possible. Parameter like browser, this is the name and the value is the Chrome. You can call the same thing or you can provide the value in the parameter method annotation or annotation and will use the method. Like uh, get browser, string browser, browser value will be here and value of the browser is the Chrome and it will print the browser is Chrome. The what what we are doing we are fetching that value from the XML file or we are getting that value from the XML file how you can you can take the value from the login value from the XML file also you can say like that parallel execution using the XML that is absolutely multiple classes we can run at the same time or oh, suit name is the parallel uh, parallel classes what you want to run parallel classes thread count three thread count is nothing just three classes will be at the same time maximum okay this is the test name, a parallel test, or classes we added here, run method in the parallel. This is the method, the parallel, a parallel for class level we are running, at the method level, parallel equal to method, or third count is the five. This is the third count 10, maybe 10, 5, whatever you want. Suit level versus test level parameter, label apply, suit, all test in suit, test only specific test label. Best practices for the test in the XML, name, suit, and test logically, use grouping for the selective execution, use parallel execution, I will tell you in our framework what we do. Some of the test cases we required for the regression testing. We filter on that way. Some of the test smoke testing. We filter on that way. Some of the test cases required for the sanity testing. We filter on that way. According to functionality, we use the tag, we use the grouping, or we run the suit accordingly. This is the beauty of the test engine XML, which is we which is we uh, used. According to functionality, we set the group, we run the suit. That's a simple graph. Use the parallel execution only for Independent test, maintain the multiple XML, smoke regression, we will set it's like that. Use listener for the reporting on red trial, logic, red trial, logics. Smoke is like quick health check, sanity is like core workflow sanity, sanity is like uh, just flow is working or not, kind of regression in the detail testing. Uh, we check, you can set for the multiple test cases. Full suit means all the test cases should be run, a coverage should be full test. What is the test ng XML? Master controller to manage the execution. Difference between suit and test tag. Suit complete execution test group of the classes. I will show you suit. Suit name. This is the suit. A test is the selective classes. Inside the test, we select the classes, right? And how to run a specific method? Use method include exclude method. Use method include. And group versus multiple tests. Group is log logical classification test in execution grouping. How to group parallel execution? Parallel using the parallel keyword, parallel method, classes, test in the suit tag. And parallel versus data provider. Parameter from the XML and data provider from code. This is the two different things. Parameter from the XML file and data provider with the code. Like we object method we create, then inside the we hard code to the value provider and use the data where somewhere use that data or we call of we call that uh, Pass that values in any other function where we are using like the login phase we are passed these values in the where the selenium code has been written so it will use that we will use that uh, user or password for the login this is the data pro provider and uh, parameters we will give the hard coded value in the xml we will, you can use that this is the parameter for xml if you learn in the very basic but it is very very important for the uh, interview perspective as well as your knowledge perspective thank you you are watching my video back to back and thank you so much